We go now to the conservativetreehouse.com. Fake hate. FBI and NASCAR admit Bubba Wallace complained noose was simply a garage door pull down rope. It took a lot longer than it should have, and it created buckets more intentional controversy than it should have. But the FBI and NASCAR have finally admitted the noose claimed by Bubba Wallace was nothing more than a simple garage door rope tied in a loop and had been there since October 2019, exactly as we outlined. NASCAR statement, the FBI has completed its investigation at Talladega Super Speedway and determined that Bubba Wallace was not the target of a hate crime. The FBI report concludes and photographic evidence confirms that the garage door pull rope fashioned like a noose had been positioned there since as early as last fall. This was obviously well before the Team 43's arrival and garage assignment. We appreciate the FBI's quick and thorough investigation and are thankful to learn that this was not an intentional racist act against Bubba. We remain steadfast in our commitment to providing a welcoming and inclusive environment for all who love racing. Uh, Now, this is against the backdrop of the George Floyd protests and the recent resurgence of the Black Lives Matter movement leading NASCAR to ban the Confederate flag at its events. A lot of controversy around that. Now, this story, FBI statement, ends in parentheses, insufferably, the FBI keeps calling it a noose. It wasn't. The FBI wasn't wasted 15 FBI special agents on this investigation. Good grief. So, like, again, uh, I was I was wondering about it. It's like a pull-down rope. Someone made a pull-down rope and made it look like a noose to be cool or to have a handle on it or... No, it, was, it wasn't even a noose. It was just, it was a hanging loop of something. So, joint statement from U.S. Attorney J.E. Town and FBI Special Agent in Charge Johnny Sharp Jr. regarding the noose found in NASCAR's Bubba Wallace's garage at Talladega Super Speedway. On Monday, 15 FBI special agents. Yeah, your tax dollars at work, ladies and gentlemen. Conducted numerous interviews regarding the situation at Talladega Super Speedway. After a thorough review of the facts, the evidence surrounding this event, we have concluded that no federal crime was committed. The FBI learned that garage number four, where the noose was found, again, yeah, they keep calling it a noose, was assigned to Bubba Wallace last week. The investigation also revealed evidence, including authentic video, confirmed by NASCAR that the noose found in garage number four was in that garage as early as 2019. They want to keep calling it a noose. Now, just to be clear, a noose, as I understand, just definition of the word is a specific knot of a slip knot tied to hang someone with, traditionally used in lynchings or government hangings, right? And, you know, just calling a loop of of, of rope a noose is is really dishonest here. I, I think they're doing this because if for attention, justification, keep it, well, where's the news? What is this? Somebody, it's not news. Because otherwise, if it was, so they, you know, they just want to hang it out there to justify, you know, all of this instead of being like, oh, it was a whatever a loop of, of rope just hanging. The decision not to pursue federal charges in, in, is proper after reviewing all available facts and applicable federal laws. We offer our thanks to NASCAR, Mr. Wallace, and everyone who cooperated with this investigation. Not surprisingly, there has been no statement from NASCAR driver Bubba Wallace. So the full backstory on this, the manual garage door rope on stall number four was tied into a hand loop by the team of Ryan Blaney sometime after the October 19th. Talladega qualifier and before the start of the main race, there are numerous ropes on several garage bay doors that are tied to make similar loops at the bottom. It just makes it easier to pull the door down. This entire controversy was over absolutely nothing. Apparently, NASCAR wants their heavily promoted story to quietly disappear now. Oh, well, damage done. Move along. And this is why it's sad to see that uh, NASCAR's one black driver had had an opportunity 
to uh, you know to really change things, to to really make something else of this, uh, and yet ended up going the way of Jesse Smollett on this one. So, who's responsible for this? Bubba himself, you know, is it? And I, you know, do do you want to? Surely he knew that he wasn't going to get away with this, and it would have been, you know, like how how dumb and desperate for attention do you have to be to be seen as the persecuted victim? Huge consequence here of, of the victim mentality, of victim culture. Of, uh, we take care of victims, uh, you know, more more than anybody else. But this thing, like. It would have been so easy for him to to close the garage door. I don't, I, can, I don't know. Maybe security can go somewhere. There aren't security cameras. First of all, hang up the news. I, I'm giving you guys for any Black Americans who want to know how to do a hate crime hoax properly. I assume you're not as dumb as Smollett or Wallace. I don't have to tell you. Do it without people who are going to betray you involved, like Jesse Smollett. Uh, do it where there aren't security cameras, like with the assault against him that was apparently recorded as well. You know, don't hang, don't, don't just, oh, that, that loop of rope, that's got to be a noose. Fake it better than that. I suppose there's one other important point in this whole story. Because the, uh, oh, you got another story there, CJ. Bubba Wallace relieved. He did address it. So this, so he did address it. So what? So let, let's. All right, let's give him the benefit of the doubt here. Let's let's hear in his words. Thank you, CJ. The other point I was going to make stands here, in that, in that. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. NASCAR describing it uh, as a as a garage door pull that was fashioned. Like a noose, the FBI saying you were not uh, the target of, of a hate crime and that it had been there at least since last October. When you found that out on Tuesday, Bubba, what was your initial reaction? Um, you know, I was I was relieved, just like um, just like many others, to know that it wasn't targeted towards me. Um, but um, it's it's still frustrating to know that you know people are always going to test you and always just going to try to debunk you. And that's, uh, that's what I'm trying to wrap my head around now from, uh, from, you know, saying I'm a fake and, and all this stuff and that I reported it when it was, uh, news that was brought to me. It was information that was brought to me that was already reported. And so I was just kind of following suit, but all in all, it's another day. I mean, you, you, you never saw the rope for yourself. As Sam no. pointed out, you didn't report it uh, yourself either. Is, is there anything that you would have done different? Um, no, because when I when I did find out, I was very adamant on searching all the garages and making sure uh, that this wasn't a garage pool and and uh, ended up being one. Um, but the uh, the photo evidence that I've seen um, and that I have in my possession of what was in our garage is exactly a garage pool. It is, uh, that is a noose. So it's, uh, you know, it's, I don't know when we'll get to the point to release that, that image, but it's, uh, anybody sees it, then it's, it's, it's alerting and it, and it makes you, it makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up for sure. But, uh, all in all, like NASCAR says, you know, it's, it's a thing that, I wouldn't change a thing. I would I would alert the NASCAR officials and let them kind of take care of it. If I had seen it in person, let, let them know about it and let them take care of it. Bubba, to, to be clear here, it sounds like you don't think that this passes the smell test. It sounds like you're still fairly convinced that, that what was in that garage stall wasn't a rope pull, but it was a noose and it was designed to, to intimidate or make a statement. Is that what you still believe? It was... It was a it was a rope pull for for the garage door. It was attached. The, the image you see of where it was cut, that's exactly what it was. But it was definitely in the shape of a noose. It wasn't a functioning noose. I talked to the FBI 
the, the two conversations I had with the FBI, which I never thought I'd talk to the FBI in my lifetime. So, hey, there's always something new. Um, they uh, they said the first one was right after the race and said they're going to do everything in their power to figure it out. And they'll be in contact. And then the second conversation was the final one to where they gave me the lowdown of all the investigation and research they, they, have, they have completed and found out that, um, that it was a garage pool, but it in fact was a noose. It was not a functioning noose, but it, it, it was a noose. And whoever had the time to create that and, and tie it up like that, just, they were, they were skeptical about it. And, um, you know, and the FBI says that types, those types of things. And I, and I told them, I had questioned my, my team members, are we sure that this isn't, um, something that we're kind of taking out of context and, they backed my team up and reiterated that if if you were to see this uh, at this time, you would stand with your team right now of why they were so alerted. So it's uh, it is what it is. So I know there's I know how the information was brought to me and how it was prosecuted and and how I was just kind of on the sidelines. But let's go back. Yeah. Let's go back to Talladega. All right. So CJ, thank you for that. Now. Can, I'm, I'm still a little bit skeptical here. So from from his story here, I I don't think he's he's um I don't think he's blameless in this at all. I I think he now if he's not the one who saw it and reported it and blew it up, then you know he does he's not guilty of that. He's not guilty of uh, initiating this, so to speak. But I think Bubba here, and and I, I'm not saying like yeah, again, you know I'm not trying to give a decisive opinion here. But I think he's guilty of going along with this when he could have put a put a stop to it from the beginning. I mean, he could have walked up and be like, okay, that's a garage pull. That's not a news. Like, if someone was going to do that, they would. You know, oh, they're a little symbol here. Like, and you know, it's been around for. A while. Like, but where's where's the actual picture? But, like, obviously, it's not a functioning noose because it's not big enough rope, or at least you know, from what I would understand, a garage door pull just enough to grab a hand, not enough to like choke someone or support you know, body weight necessarily. Obviously, it's not a functioning noose. Um, so CJ has got this picture. I saw that one from the article pulled up there. But I, I can you make out like the the new the, the rope itself? Is there a picture of like the actual rope loop? Um, like as I just did a quick uh, Google search Bubba Wallace noose picture and there's there's nothing of the the rope itself oh wait here we go all right so i found it on cnn so cnn has this you know it's, it's a pretty grainy picture you see that it's a loop and it's a part that's tied up like it looks like a noose i'm gonna go out on a limb here and say because it was a functioning door pull it wasn't like you don't put a slip knot on something you're pulling a door with like that right so someone just tied it up like that, and that was how they knew how to tie a knot. And we're like, okay, well, they're, I, I'm not trying to – like, I'm really trying to understand this. Not, okay, so CJ's got another picture here. Okay, but that's a different one. Is that the same garage, CJ? Uh, and that's that's definitely not a uh, – that's definitely not a noose there. I mean, it's a, a loop with, with a knot. I mean, you can see like, every loop with a knot is now – we're going to call it a noose, even if it's a non-functioning noose. Well, check out my hand. It's a non-functioning battering ram. Uh, mm, yeah, I don't know about that. And see, I think what Bubba is guilty of here, and if I'm missing some other element of the story, we got two, we're going to go a little long. I got two more stories that I just I do have to get to today for, for top headlines or, or current headlines. Um, but uh, it, it, it sounds like he's guilty of going along with this, at least. Because he said his, it was brought to his attention. It was his crew that was in the garage. Well, he could have walked over there himself and been like, yeah, this is one of the normal door pulls. This has been here. You know, look into it and go, okay, it's not. They let this blow up. The other point I was getting at, the last one I'll make regarding the story is that America is so desperate for these kinds of, you know, narrative reaffirming stories 
that they'll run with something sensational before it's confirmed or corrected or, you know, it, and then, you know, what ends up happening again, people should be discredited who aren't. And we get away with this because we don't hold people to a higher standard of intellectual integrity. And yeah, Trump personally deserves some of the blame for that. 